So this is a quick tutorial on how to cite images and uh, information you got from certain websites in PowerPoint in a more informal, quick fashion than doing a proper uh, MLA or APA format. So sometimes your teacher may be okay with just as long as we can tell where uh, image A came from and where the information for the uh, text came from, that might suffice. So let's just uh, go ahead and, uh, and start here. Uh, my sample project. So what we'll do is uh, I'm going to pretend I'm doing a PowerPoint on computer components, for instance, and I'm going to start with the motherboards. Okay. What I can do is go to Google, obviously. Uh, okay. So maybe I'll look up what is a motherboard. Okay. Well, let's see here. I'm going to look at a few different uh, entries here. So we have uh, PC support out of boat.com. A boat's not too bad for this sort of thing. If you're doing a history or social studies, you're going to want to find reputable sources, of course, right? So uh, I will be okay with, uh, again, using uh, a boat for this particular instance. Uh, so basically the motherboard serves to connect the parts of the computer. Okay, so maybe I will go ahead and copy this. Now, if you're going to copy it, I highly recommend you... First, put it in a notepad. That takes away all the formatting. That means the font, the font color. If there's hyperlinks like there is in this one, when uh, the uh, notepad comes up, I can paste it. Now I can cut and paste it again into PowerPoint. And what that does is, again, you see it's a perfectly un unified formatting. If I do a direct quotation, it's very important, okay, to put quotations around it. And this is from uh, boat.com. And in the notes down here, this is where there's a nice easy way, uh, body text, to keep track of the URL. Again, the URL is the website address up here, the whole thing. PC support.aboat.com slash OD slash simply highlight it, right click, copy, go back to PowerPoint, right click, and we can go ahead and paste it in. And there's that one. Now let's go get a picture of our motherboard. Okay. Uh, now, obviously, there's one there already, but I'm just going to show you how to do it on uh, Google Search. And if we go to Images, oh, okay, great. There's a few here that are really good because some have just a picture, but some actually show exactly what's going on. So if I select, let's say, this one, for instance, okay, good. It's best to click uh, View Image. Now, most of the time, that should work, okay? It might not always work. So we're going to click View Image. The, per the, the upswing of doing this is we actually get the URL up here. Okay, so again, I can right click, I can click copy image, it's going to put it on our uh, clipboard, I can go back here into uh, PowerPoint, right click somewhere, and I can uh, go ahead and paste. Now I've got my image here, I've got to make it a little bit smaller, of course. And depending on what you're doing, for this purpose, it's kind of too small to actually see the data label, so I would probably put that image on its own slide altogether so you can see it. However, what I'm going to do again in the notes down here, uh, image, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and go back and again, right click, copy, or you can do control C, and then back here, control V or paste, or right, uh, right mouse click paste. And now in the notes, I have the direct URLs to the images, to where the information is coming from, and for an informal not overly academic presentation, this is a sufficient means to cite it. 